Over the past few years, I've been building Lego fighting robots and battling them at events around the UK. One of the most common questions we get from event visitors is, what sets do I need to get to build my own robot? Well, in this video, we'll be seeing if we can turn this Lego Technic set into a proper fighting robot. Stay tuned! First off, let's take a closer look at today's set. This is the 42140 App Control Transformation Vehicle, which sells for around £130 here in the UK. Despite the dark name, it's actually a pretty cool little RC tank that you drive around with an app on your phone. When you drive up a wall, the whole thing flips over and reveals a different vehicle underneath. In terms of electronics, you get one powered up Technic Hub. This is the thing that connects to the app on your phone, comes with four ports for motors and other devices, and takes six AA batteries. You also get two large powered up motors. These are reasonably powerful motors which come with these non-stackable plugs. But since the set only comes with two of them, we'll need to add a third one if we want our robot to have an active weapon. At the time of this video, the motor is sold out on LEGO's website, but we can go to bricklink.com to buy one new or used from a second-hand seller. They're often cheaper here too. So we've got our motors and battery box, but what other useful parts are in this set? Well, we get these cable clips, which are handy for keeping motor cables tidy. These flip-flop Technic beams are really good for building strong 3D structures. Same can be said for this long Technic frame, with attachment points on all three planes, as well as these cute 3x3 biscuit panels. And speaking of panels, we get a lot of angled panels, which are great for making forks to get under opponent robots. And for movement, we get these track wheels and a bunch of plastic tracks. Tracks aren't the best fit for fighting robots, as they're a bit fragile and don't offer much grip. Fortunately, this set also comes with these tiny rubber inserts, which can at least give us a little more grip. We get four gear wheels, more on these in a minute, and finally these springy shock absorbers, which are just pretty fun to squish. So can we make a fighting robot out of all of this? Well sure we can, here's one I made earlier. Rawhide is a lifter robot designed to pick up opponents and push them around the arena. It's just as fun to drive around as the original set, although that Control Plus app won't work here. We'll need to download LEGO's separate Powered Up app and build a simple custom controller profile using the drag and drop coding blocks. If you're confident with coding, you can also use the third party Pybricks platform to get Rawhide running on LEGO's Powered Up remote. Remember those gears? They came in handy for building the lifter weapon, but we can lift even more weight with a slight modification. Let's get a higher gear ratio by swapping two of the gears out for these ones. They're not in the original set, but if you don't already have them, you can pick them up at LEGO's online pick a brick service or once again at Bricklink. These gears will give us the extra torque we need to lift heavier robots. So can you build a fighting robot with the app controlled transportation vehicle set? Well, as long as you pick up an extra motor as well, Sure you can! Fancy building your own Rawhide robot? I've been working on instructions to help LEGO fans get into robot building. You'll get a step-by-step -step guide on how to build the model, plus instructions on how to create your controller profile in the Powered Up app. Just visit the Rubricable page, or my Kofi page, via the links in the video description. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more.